Hey guys, and welcome back to Long Live the Queen. So, let's take a look at our mood. Um, we are extremely yielding. So, let's try and get her willfulness up. Right? Yes. Oh yeah, I have to talk to her, don't I? Oh my god. Okay, that would probably be the drastic action she mentioned earlier. Uh, leave it to me. Don't worry, I'm working on it. Very well. Okay, so that didn't really do anything. Sorry. Alright, so... Let's, uh... Hmm. What are the highest? Faith? And... Royal Demeanor. So let's do... Elegance and production, I guess. Yeah, so production, elegance. Let's go. You practice standing and walking with books balanced on your head. You practice the elegant way to hold and sip from a teacup. Your pinky slightly extended for balance. Yeah, I've unlocked a new outfit! You learn that the hilly terrain in Hellas is no good for growing most crops, but is excellent for vineyards, or vineyards, I guess is how it's pronounced, and migratory flocks of sheep and goats. There is a woman here to see you. She is a musician and wishes to, or wishes crown patronage, which means money. Your Royal Highness. If you accept me as a member of your court, I will immortalize you in a word and song. I have dabbled in musical styles from many countries, and can entertain your guests and lighten your evenings. Foreign intelligence failed intrigue. Pass, though. Musicians are often used as secret agents and messengers. They can be useful and dangerous. The musician sings a little uh, ditty to demonstrate her skill with the lute. She's actually pretty good. Instrument and voice failed. Does that mean that she's really bad? Reject her. Sorry. Thank you, but we're not interested. <laughs> okay, we're gonna visit. Counting success. Yeah! You overwhelm the guard with facts and figures, explaining that you need treasury access to adjust the royal budget, which may affect their pay packets as well as the taxes ass uh, assessed on their friends and family. We stand aside. Oh man. Oh wait, I needed that anyways. The glitter is dazzling, but some sixth sense draws you toward one little locked box in particular. This is what you need. This is the crystal that will make you illumine. You tuck the box into your pocket. You can show it to your mentor later and get instructions on what to do next. Alright, we did it guys! <coughs> Alright, so let's look at what we have that is really not good, but is very like high up in stats for today. Let's see, we can do history and um, let's see, history and I guess we can do conversation, because we have nothing there. So, history and... Oh, wait, 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 wait. I want to look at fists. Oh my gosh, you're so pretty! What does that boost? Oh, royal demeanor, of course. Alright, I think I had another one, didn't I? No. Done. Oh my goodness, she's so pretty! Okay, so conversation and history. Let's do it. So conversation, public speaking, and history, Novan history. Let's do this. You practice tongue-twisting sequences of syllables to improve your enunciation. You read about the history in, of your domain. Hundreds of years ago, Nova was the center of a great empire spanning the length of the western coast as well as a few island territories. Over time, your influence has waned. 
you receive a letter from young Lord uh, ADR. So far, he's enjoying himself with your uncle Armand in Mazomba. He says the trees look different and there are a lot more frogs. He looks forward to visiting the lookout fort at Shepherd's Point. Nice. Okay, let's talk to her now. I got it! What do I do now? Pick up the crystal with your bare hands, press it against your chest, over your heart, and say, Illuminate. Do it! Okay, here we go! Illuminate! Oh my god, it's like Sailor Moon! You feel dizzy, and both larger and lighter than you were before. The crystal has disappeared from view, but you know where it is. Wow! The priestess here is a friend of mine. I will come to your lessons in the faith and train you to use your powers. Thanks! Oh my gosh, this is so exciting! Oh no! <laughs> Okay, I guess I have to stop being so yielding. Um, yeah. Well, let's do world history and, um, court manners, I guess. Yeah, that sounds about right. So. Hmm. So, world history and court manners. Let's do it. Alright, so you review the correct greetings for guests according to rank and uh, and when to extend your hand to another. All nobles expect their due honors. You look at a globe of the world, reading names of places so distant you can't remember ever hearing about them, and other areas left blank because no explorer venturing there has ever returned. Noise. Oh no! Logistics and trade failed! Staring up into the sky out your window, you notice a strange flash of light. A falling star! Pretty! Divination failed to... Dang it! Okay. Ooh, she's getting really cheerful. Um, let's do willful. Find something that will make her willful. Let's see. Hmm. Okay, so lonely? Yeah, we can do that, I guess. Maybe. Yeah, let's do it. Sneak out. You sneak out of the castle to have a little fun. You enjoy your freedom, but your father won't like it if he finds out. Oh, yay! She's, uh, cheerful now. Sweet. So that brings Lumen to zero, zero. Um, hmm. Alright. Let's take a look. Ooh, so flattery, and athletics, I guess, because I have absolutely nothing in athletics. So, flattery, athletics, let's do running. So, you learn that it's important to make eye contact when saying nice things about someone. You practice walking at a brisk but comfortable pace for a set length of time every day. I have unpleasant news to report. Talaris, the Duke of Sedna, has instituted high, tra uh, high tariffs and trade restrictions at the Eloth border. Business is disrupted, and there are growing shortages of supplies. Send them emergency aid. Then the Royal Treasur Treasury will pay to keep the people fed. Very well. Of course, because that's kind of what we have to do. So let's see, we need pressured and oppressed, just to try to even shit out. So, pressured and depressed, there we go, too yielding. Ooh, not sure if I want to do that. Um, let's see, that's yielding and afraid, hunting, uh, 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 I don't know. Lonely and willful? That'll bring it up to there. And lonely will go down. So I guess, yeah, let's do that again. So we snuck out again, and now we're lonely! Let's see what that affects. Ah, Lumen. A 
Okay, um, let's see. Conversation is still really high. Ooh, and medicine. Ooh. Because our economics are pretty dang high right now. So I guess let's do uh, public speaking and battlefield. So public speaking, medicine, battlefield medicine. Let's do it. Okay, so you take deep breaths and practice speaking loudly and clearly, projecting your voice to every corner of a room. You learn that wounds, even minor ones, should be washed as soon as possible to prevent dirt from growing under the skin. Well, of course. My lady, there are letters for you. Another letter from Bryony. Why does she keep writing me? We were never even friends. She says she's bored and lonely, and she's looking forward to seeing me at Gwen, uh, Gwenelle's birthday party. That's right. Gwenelle is about to turn 15. She'll be, du uh, she'll be Duchess of Sudbury for real now. This other letter must be my invitation to her birthday celebration next week. Gwenelle and I were friends at school, and this will be a big event, and it's also a long way to travel. A lot of things could happen on the road. Eh, how about not? I'd better stay here. Yeah, because I don't think I've been working on, like, uh, my actual fighting. Ugh. Alright, so pressured and depressed if we can. So, let's see. Well, afraid. Let's see. That would go down one. So, yeah, let's. I guess we can do that. You pay respects to your mother's tomb and wonder if the same fate is waiting for you. Oh, I bet it is, to be honest. Alright. So, hmm. Yeah, because see, I haven't been working on those at all. I should, though. Okay, so how about... Um, well, yeah, let's work on weapons. So, archery and poison and medicine. Let's get at least something, you know? So, let's see, weapons archery, and then poison and medicine. So, here we go. You learn how to twist and wax bowstring from a variety of fibers. The first treatment for most um, ingested poisons is to purge the stomach by forcing the victim to eat powdered charcoal, which can absorb dangerous substances. Wow, okay. <sighs> All my friends are at Gwinnell's party and I don't get to go. I sent Gwinnell a letter saying I couldn't come, but it was her mother, the Countess, who replied. I think she's insulted that I didn't consider the event important enough to attend. Ugh. Whatevs. Okay, yeah, I really need to get the pressure up. Pressure, 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 pressure. Uh, afraid and depressed. Well, minus two afraid. And then plus one depressed. Uh, uh. The pressure, depressed, and yielding. So that would go down here. That would go down there. That would. Oh, okay. Yeah, we can do that. Let's do it. Yep. Got it. All right. So let's see. Pull arms. And. Then let's work on athletics climbing. So, pull arms. Athletics climbing. Done. So you learn about a variety of long weapons from the quarterstaff to the spear to the halberd and glive. You practice climbing up and down fixed ladders, driving... Uh, yeah, driving out any fear of heights and learning to move swiftly and surely. The Duchess of Leela has sent you a gift. What's this? It's a cushion, finely embroidered with the design of a running horse. It's well done, and clearly required hours and hours of needlework, but it's also fairly useless. That's nice, I guess. Uh-huh. 
Wow, okay. Um, hmm. I'm not sure. We haven't been hunting yet. Uh, one depressed. Yeah, I guess we can do that. Let's go hunting. Watching prey animals uh, be captured and killed helps put your own problems in perspective. You feel less afraid, but a bit more sad. That's okay, I guess. Alright, let's take a look. Uh, let's do swimming. And then the only other ones that I haven't been able to like do are lumen, so... Swimming and sense magic, I guess. So, lumen, sense magic, and then swimming. Done! Mm-hmm. So you close your eyes and learn to feel the magic inside you. You get comfortable in the water, splashing around and holding your breath to go under. The Duchess of Mead is here to see you, my lady. Hello, Elodie. I'm sorry to trouble you, but have you seen Bryony? No, not since I left school. She shakes her head. She's gone missing. She's not at school where she should be. I know she was unhappy, but I never expected. She wrote me a letter saying uh, that she was bored and looking for adventure, but that's all I know. Oh dear. I hope she hasn't done anything too foolish. My poor little lamb. I have to go look for her. Oh man. I feel bad. Alright, so do something pressuring, I guess. Although we don't really have much. Uh, I guess that's the only thing we can do, so let's do that. Alright, so what's your mood? You are yielding right now. Um, oh shit. That did bad for my lumen. Alright, so let's take a look at the two lowest things that I have right now. Um... <coughs> let's see here... Ooh. Our two lowest are... Foreign Affairs and Herbs. So I guess let's do that. Foreign Affairs and Herbs. So that's History and Medicine. Uh, history, Foreign Affairs, Medicine, Herbs. Here we go. So four years ago, the Duchess of Hellas tried to foment, or tried to foment an in bleh, okay, I cannot read today. Insurrection in northern Zion, just over the Galban River border. Not only did that fail, but in retaliation, Zion pushed troops to southern Marie, and they are still uh, they are still refusing to leave. You learn that fever few can be used to reduce tension and headaches. Nice. As you are walking through uh, the Great Hall, a freak gust of wind suddenly blows out all the candles in the room. How strange! There must be an open window somewhere! Ugh. Whatever, man. Okay, so willful. Let's do something that will make her very willful. Uh, ooh, too willful. One lonely. Yeah, we can do that. Let's sneak out. Here we go. Okay, because this helps with Lumen, I guess. Alright, so let's see. What is the next lowest thing? I guess that would be instrument here, right? No, it wouldn't be. It would be swords. So, weapons, swords, and Lumen resist magic. So, weapons, swords... Lumen resist magic. Here we go! So, you practice slow swings to move your blades to precisely uh, marked targets, building up your muscles and control. You increase your awareness of your own thoughts and emotions, making it more difficult for mind affecting magic to twist your reactions. Things have been so unsettled lately. Everyone's on edge. We need something cheerful. You could hold a tournament. What a good idea! Knights, jousting, musicians, all sorts of competitions. 
Everyone loves a contest. What will you offer as prizes to the winners? Um, I guess status and praise. Being declared to be the best in front of the entire domain should be prize enough for anyone. Very well. I will draft the announcements. You leave him to his work. As you move through the hall, your eye falls upon a vase of flowers. Pretty, but apparently not getting enough water. The leaves on one blossom have shriveled. Oh man, divination and decoration both failed. Someone on hall duty is being lazy. Those flowers should be replaced. To continue, or you continue up the stairs to your room where a maid is waiting uh, for you. My lady, a gift has arrived from Kegel. From the Duke? No, my lady. A merchant house, I believe. It was sent with a shipment down the Kavala River. You tear open the brightly colored paper to find... Chocolates! Chocolate producers in Kegel usually ship goods down the Napla River through Ursul, not straight to the capital. This merchant house probably specializes in something else and only traded for the chocolate. There's a little card with the box. With our compliments, the house of uh, Karalat. Eh, save it for later. I don't feel like eating candy, or I don't feel like candy right now. Maybe later. Alright, and this is where we're going to end the episode. So, I really do hope that you've enjoyed this so far. Because I'm actually really enjoying this. So if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up down below, and if you haven't already, subscribe to become part of the legacy today, and I will see you guys in the next video. So bye bye